Hi, this is Caitlin, aka Madness Nail Art. So, today I'm back to you with an estate giveaway that I won. And I am going to get right into the. Okay, so, um, I got this estate Do Me Highlighter in the shade Lit in an Ipsy bag. This was from my August Ipsy bag of last year, so that would be 2019. And it looks like that. So, on Twitter, I entered a giveaway from Estate because they were giving away the Bailey Serian palette, which I will get into in a second. Um, so, I won quite a bit. And see, they make these cute little highlighters. And I really like this highlighter, actually. Now, if I got one of these in here, I'm obviously going to give it to a friend for, like, Christmas. Because I have lots of stuff I can give for Christmas presents. But I am keeping this palette. This palette is mine. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, so, first off, we got the Venice Fling palette. This is by Bailey Syrian and Estate. I am a new fan of hers, so that's why I got this palette. I only get collab palettes that I actually watch the YouTube video, or the YouTubers, the YouTube videos, what? No, okay. Yeah, so this is what this palette looks like. I still have the protective layer on it. So, it is a lot of neutrals, but there's also some reds and a purple and also like a gold and an orange so i kind of like it and in honor of her i think i'm gonna do a more smoked out eye look which i i tried doing one and you'll see that video probably before this one all right so the next thing i got is a do me highlighter and they all most of them came in bubble wrap except for the lipsticks but that's okay so, let's see. Alright, this is that. It's in a cute little light pink packaging, and this is in the shade Pearl. It's very pretty. I'm going to put that back in here. This might be a little too dark for me, but this is in the shade Exposed. So I won't open that one, but it's very pretty. I think pearl would work for me pretty well. Seems like a great color for pale to light skin tones. Alright. Oh, yep. So this is an exact one. Of this one it does look like they changed their packaging so I will not be opening that one this one also might be a little too dark for me although maybe these are this is a highlight oh maybe these are no these are still big highlighters hmm okay yeah so you probably could use these as a blush, actually. So, gonna put that back. Alright, and then next let's go over all of our lippies. So, this is the Estate Wet Matte Liquid Lips. And this is in the shade Snack. We love that. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, so this is that shade. Not sure if that would work for me, but we'll see. Alright, I'm not going to open them or swatch them. Just in case I do want to give them to my friends or family. Okay. Alright, this is also a... Wet Matte Liquid Lips, but this is in the shade Lolly. So that's cute. Okay. I feel like that's like a rosy color. 
All right, so we're gonna put these here. <laughs> Sorry, we got quite a bit. All right, so this is the Estee lip icing. Okay, ooh, this is really pretty. This is in the shade Down. I definitely think I could wear this one. If it's a gloss. Well, it is pretty dark pink. All right. And then this is their, um, the Sauce Multi-Purpose Liquid Illuminator. <gasps> Ooh. Wouldn't that be like a highlight then? Well, we'll see, I guess. Getting so many goodies, oh my gosh. Ooh. That's really pretty, and this is in the shade Ace. Beautiful. Yeah, I will do a little research on these products before I start testing a few of them out. Okay, so this one is in the shade Arson. This is also a illuminator. Alright, and then this one is another lip icing, so... This one is in the shade Drip. Ooh. Love that name. <laughs> Ooh, we won quite a bit today. Alright. Ooh. This one may not work for me. Because it is a light pink. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and this one is a lip icing also. Wow, this is really cute, and this is in the shade Goody. It's a nice pink. It kind of looks like duochrome. It looks like there's orange shimmer to, like, a fuchsia shimmer, if that makes sense. Okay. And then, let's open this one. I think this, this is a wet matte liquid lip, and this is in the shade Edible. Ooh, okay. It's cute. Don't know, mm, let's see. This is a lip icing, and this is in the shade Lick. It's cute, it's a nude with some shimmer. Kind of like our other one that we just saw. Alright, and that is it for me. Alright, so I'm going to go through these, see what shades would work for me best, and um, I'll do like all the steps of like my base up until my highlight. And then we can test out this palette. You kind of know the drill. So I'll be right back. Hi guys. So I'm back. So I used quite a few different products today. So I used the original The Porefessional by Benefit Primer. It looks like that. And then I used the Yenza BC Foundation. So this is a full coverage foundation. And this is in the shade Light Neutral, and that's me. And then I use the BC Concealer, so this is also a full coverage concealer, so we are full coverage today. So this is in the shade Fair Cool. And so on my lips, I use the Kismet Buff Sugar Lip Scrub, and it looks like that. I love this stuff dearly. And then this is the Incredible Jelly Shot Lip Quencher. And actually, I'm going to move this. There we go. That's much better. Sorry. Get my thumb for a little bit. All right. And then for contour today, I use the Item Vibes. And this is in the shade Cheek Money. 
And actually, I think this is Cheek Money in the Shade Vibes by Item Beauty. Which is a very lovely contour shade. It's nice and cool toned. And then, today I use the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. While we are going for full glam, you know how I am. Gotta be all natural. Alright, so upon doing research... This um, is actually a liquid highlighter, and that's what I'm going to be using today for highlight. Pink highlighters as blushes, so we're going to be really glowy today, which is okay because I have a really matte base. So this is in the shade Flushed. It's their Do Me highlighter. You can probably also use it as a blush. And we also have... exposed and this is what this one looks like I can get it open uh oh there we go that's what that one looks like I think I will go with the lighter one today for blush though so I'm gonna Take the shade Flush. Okay, this is our Shana B Miami Blush Brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to dip into the shade. This is kind of like an orange toned blush. Or highlighter, I should say. So I'm going to see if this is going to work. Actually, I think that does work for a blush. It is really natural, though. Alright. So then... We're gonna take Ace by Estate. And this is a liquid highlighter. So that's what the wand looks like. And I'm going to put that right here. And obviously we will blend it out. Okay. So, I'm going to take this Kabuki brush. And I'm going to blend that out. Ooh, we're going to be very luminous today. I do not have my contacts in, so I did not choose sight today. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not, like, if I take off my glasses, like, I can't see anything. I can see for the most part. It's just that far away I can't see very well. So, I think we are looking good. Now, what you can also do is you can always layer a powder over a like liquid highlighter and it makes it really pop but today we're not gonna do that because I feel like I'm doing a bit too much so I am hmm. I'm just gonna take the Estee highlighter that I already own so this one is mine and I'm gonna just pop that on my nose. And I'm gonna pop this one on my cupid's bow. Alright. And then I'm going to take my highlight brush. Not that one. Oh god. How how's there pink on this? Okay, whatever. Alright. So I blended that out. So I'm going to spray my face and then I'm going to do my eyebrows and prime my eyes off camera. And I will be right back to do my eyeshadow. Alright guys, so I think what I'm going to do is more of a like natural colored smoky eye. So I'm going to use like 
tan lines and toasty. Maybe Ocean Avenue right here, which is super pretty, by the way. And I'm going to use this one. So, yeah, I am excited. So, what I am obviously going to do first, you probably already guessed it, is I'm going to take my round crease brush. And this is from the Beach Cosmetics Rose Quartz Set. And I'm going to dip in two tan lines. Actually, Bonfire kind of looks peach to me, but I don't want it to make my eye look look orange. So I'll have to touch that shade out. But I'm just going to pop the shade right on. And this is going to create a nice transition color. So that when we put Toasty on top. It'll blend out really nicely. And I'm dipping in the toasty now. On that same brush, actually. Can't be bothered to have two round crease brushes. And actually I do, but the other one's for like purple and blues. So we're not gonna use that one. But wow, this is a very pigmented color. Really nice. And I'm going to put that as high up as I can because while I do look like I have a lot of lid space, I do have hooded eyes. So, yeah. Okay. So, I did that. So now we're going to go into Ocean Avenue. No, actually, we're going to go straight into Venice Fling. Ooh. Okay, that is what that looks like. I think that's more of a dark brown. It looks like a dark brown to me. Maybe I am blind. <laughs> so, we're just going to actually bring that in a little bit on our lids. But we're also going to drag it out. Kind of create like a rounded shape like I always do. But just drag that a little bit. Alright. And I think what I'm going to do is actually bring that up too as much as I can. Ooh, there we go. Oh shoot. Yeah, I probably should have blended those two two colors together. The nice thing about neutrals is that they're pretty easy to blend, so we're just gonna take this at Cosmetics. I'm gonna blend those as much as I can, and then I'm gonna blend that a little too. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So then I'm gonna go into Ocean Avenue, and obviously if I want to be super dramatic and I want to extend into Venice fling more. I saw Ocean Avenue is that really pretty color. I kind of feel like I use this color a lot, but it kind of matches our highlighter. So, it works out just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. These shadows are very creamy and I love them. And I'll just put a little more on, just in case. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So I might take a little more of Venice Fling. Go in just a bit more. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Actually, where did I put my it Cosmetics brush? Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend that smoky shade out. Actually, I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. And then blend it out. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So, I'm going to do the other eye off camera, my eyeliner, and my mascara, and I will be right back. Alright guys, so, 
I actually did use, I lied in my last video, I have a Tarte eyeliner, it's the Sex Kitten one, and then I also use the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer sometimes, I also got my, or I got that in my Ipsy bag, but the, I also got the Sex Kitten in an Ipsy bag. So yeah, I really enjoy those products, so I definitely have used Tarte products before, but I really like this mascara, this is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara in the bright pink packaging. And then for eyeliner, I use the Sephora Black Ink Fine Line Felt Liner, and I really like that one. So, I put, oh my gosh, let me get the palette, sorry. <laughs> So I put tan lines and toasty, so tan lines and toasty, on my under eye. I also put some mascara down there. I don't usually do that, but I did today. So I'm going to take my Estee Do Me highlighter and lit and just putting that on the inner corner. See this? highlight is that bitch. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's freaking fantastic. Well, I feel like that side's a little brighter for some reason, so I think that worked. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, let me pop that on my brows. And we will get into some fun lip combinations. I have a lot of options. Okay. So I'm gonna... I did take out the shades that I don't think work for me very well. A lot of them were lighter shades. And I have pretty dark natural hair. It's still pretty dark even with the purple in it. So, yeah. Okay. Alright. So I think I only saved one, um... That's a lip icing. That one's also a lip icing. Okay. So, this is the matte liquid lip that I picked. Oh, God. I think this one works best for me. This is the Estate Lolly. So, it's like a rose color. Kind of brown rose. Alright, so I'm going to pop this on. Ooh, I like that. This lipstick smells really good actually. I feel like this was a good lip selection. It's like kind of a reddish brown now that I look at it more. Alright. So that is the shade Lolly. It's very beautiful. Okay. So. Let's see. For our lip toppers or lip glosses, we have a few options. Okay. So we have this one, which is a lip icing. That's really pretty, actually. Oh, this is very matted down already. I feel it. <laughs> so it dries very quick. And then this is a lip icing, and this is in the shade Goody, and this one is in the shade Down. So we got like kind of a duochrome pink, and then we got this kind of rose gold tone. Oh, uh oh, I got it. Okay, <laughs> I'm a mess today. You can see that. And then. This one actually would go really great. This one is also a lip icing. 
I feel like these are the perfect combo. Hmm. So. I think I'm gonna go with down actually. So let's pop. Mm, yeah, let's go down. Baby, are you down, 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 down? That's a good song. Oh, okay. I like the applicator. All right. Just going to pop that on. Wow, I really like that. I think these colors go along pretty good together. I feel like this one would also work very well. Along with this one too. And some of, I mean, these are probably pigmented enough where they probably can be on their own. I'll have to try that out eventually. But this is it for the look today. So I really like this and. I'm kind of feeling like this lipstick and lip gloss vibe today. I usually am not a lip gloss person. So, this is the look. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you in the next one. Alright, bye!